Hey everyone, it's Ellen from Rhapsody Music Lessons, and we're looking at a lead sheet here. And this is the river written in the key of C. And this is out of the Piano Adventures Level 2B Popular Rep Repertoire book. There's a link in my description as to where you can get this. I've had several students ask me how to play chords and melody, and that is called lead sheet. But before we get into that, I like to teach them the basics of music and make sure that they can read off the grand staff as well as play. This is also another wonderful way of being able to play music. If you're given music like this, and you'll notice there's no bass clef under the treble. What you have here are these chord symbols. So on this particular piece, which is on page 14, what they want you to do is first play the melody alone and then harmonize the melody with your left hand. Well, what does that mean? It means play in block style the chords that are written and they are one, four, five, seven chords. Now, what does that mean? You've got the first degree of the C scale, which is C. You've got the fourth degree of the C scale, which is F. And then you've got your fifth degree of the C scale, which is G, but we're adding the seventh to the seventh to the G chord. What does that mean? Well, the seventh to G is F. It's right underneath it, okay? So it gives it more sound, okay? When you add, this is a G chord. One, three, five. This is a seventh. So we add that in and it really gives it more flavor. But in this case, we're gonna be positioning your hands in not all root position. Your one chord, which is your C, is gonna be C, E, G, and you're gonna hold, block style means hold them together. Now you've got your F chord or your four. Keep your pinky on C and just move these two fingers up a key, but you can switch the fingers you're using. See how easy of a transition that is? C chord, F chord, back to your C chord. Now when it's time to play the G seventh chord, we're not going in root position. We're actually moving the third to the bottom. So you're going to have a B. You're not even going to be playing the fifth of this chord. You're going to be playing a B, F, G. It's a very common thing to leave the third out. And in many cases, you'll find the third in your melody line, okay? Okay, so what we're doing, it's just a very basic melody. They want your thumb to start on the E because it just makes it easier for the rest of the song. But your hands move around a little bit. One, two, three, four, four times. off. Now, why were there only two beats in this measure? Because we started with an incomplete measure. One, two, here are beats three and four at the end. One, two, we need four beats per measure, right? We need four beats per measure. So you've got your first two here in this incomplete measure and your very last measure finishes it out with four two beats here. Two and two is four. Now I'm going to put both hands together and just take your time with this and you can kind of rewatch it if you need to, but I think you're going to have fun playing this way. Playing with block chords and broken chords are just broke, just like they sound. Instead of this, you'd be going, okay? But for now, let's stick with block chords, knowing a chord symbol. C, F, C, G7, C, or 1, 4, 1, 5, 7, 1. Let's add the right hand.
that's it. You can eventually do things like get your pedal in there. You can build your tempo up a little bit. pretty up tempo but what I would do is not don't start off that way start off nice and slowly and then get your chords down get your melody down and put your two hands together and see how you like that I hope this helps again that's page 14 the river um, in the piano adventures popular repertoire book level 2b I hope this helps my students and also anybody else out there who needs a little help with this and if you find my videos helpful please hit that like and subscribe I'll see you next time bye bye